you know, every single YouTuber, when they sign up to be a YouTuber, they're gonna say, I want a million subs one day. This is like such a huge, huge milestone, and I don't know what to say other than thank you. <laughs> like, thank you so much. I know, like, I'm dramatic, and I know I have problems, and I know that I'm crazy and eccentric and stuff, but I still appreciate you being here and joining me every day for eating. I am so thankful for you guys. Disgusting. Stop. I don't like your voice. Want more? Do you want more? No! Look like you did! According to the World Health Organization, the worldwide presence of obesity has tripled between 1975 and 2016, affecting approximately 13% of the world's population. And if we factor in 13% of the world's population today, that would be approximately 1 billion people. Obesity should be taken seriously as it can cause a number of health issues, including diabetes, osteoarthritis, heart disease, and even cancer. Thankfully, it's one of the world's easiest disorders to treat, only requiring proper dieting and exercise. However, it's not so easy to treat when eating has become your career. Nico Cato Avocado, an influencer in the Mukbang community, has gained over 200 pounds over the last six years, sacrificing his health for views. And unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. One could wonder though, does the mukbang community influence obesity? What's up, YouTube? Now, before we even get started with the video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my guy, Ask Watermelon, for doing the intro for the video in such a short notice. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description and comments down below. Check him out. He deserves way more recognition than he receives, and we have more collabs scheduled in the future. But I guess it's time to get into today's video topic. Nikocado Avocado has been a topic of discussion for the past couple of months, mostly because of his mukbang videos that have taken a toll on his overall mental and physical health. But over the past couple of weeks, he has been under fire for his videos uploaded on his second channel that depict him as someone with a disability. As I'm writing this video, he currently has 13 videos uploaded to his second channel, More Nikocado, with disability in the title. Out of those 13 videos, 9 of them have the title My New Diet as a Disabled Person. Now, if you haven't kept up with Nikocado Avocado, you might be asking yourself, well, what's his disability? To keep it short and simple, Nikocado Avocado would upload a video titled I Broke My Ribs to his second channel and throughout that video he would talk about how he cracked his ribs due to his increase in weight. This video would feature Nikocado Avocado in presumably a lot of pain to where it took him about 5 minutes just to get out of bed and on his feet. But his TikTok contradicts his statements of pain and agony. Just look at this TikTok that he uploaded a couple days after his I Broke My Ribs video, showing him bouncing around when just a couple days before it seemed like he couldn't even move. Skinny and I'm sick of all you peeps. Little bald peep lost her sheep. Tell me that it's fat. It's just one weight. So I'm gonna weigh myself and she's gonna tell the truth. Oh. Hurry up. Hurry up with your lies. Three hundred and fifty two point zero pounds. Three hundred and fifty two. Now to get to the meat of things, we have to be aware of just how self-aware Nikocado Avocado actually is of his character that he's playing. If we check out his merch, we can see that he plays into this character with shirts like It's Just Waterweight, I Identify as Skinny, and the last shirt that is very self-aware, which is I Don't Believe in Salads. Which is funny because if you didn't know, Nikocado Avocado actually grew his channel from the start as a vegan mukbang channel before switching to a much more open diet in 2016. Now this switch to a more open diet would skyrocket Nikocado Avocado to over 1 million subscribers in 2018, and with this attention towards his channel, he would be featured in a skit on Tosh.0, and even on Tosh.0, he was very self-aware of what he was doing to his body and the negative side effects of his eating habits. On a podcast with Trisha Paytas, Nikocado Avocado would tell her that he always wanted attention and the spotlight, 
And we could see that very distinctively throughout 2019 to the present day, where he has playlists for fights with his husband Orlin and playlists of his mental breakdowns on camera, which is what he has become known for after his many years on YouTube. This constant need for attention would get us to this point in his career to where he's uploading these types of videos with this thumbnail, making his issue look way worse than what it actually is. Nico Cotto Avocado has been criticized before from the commentary community, but these thumbnails caught the eye of one of the biggest commenters on the YouTube platform, Moist Critical. Critical would make this video titled, This YouTuber is slowly killing himself for views, where he would point out some of the issues he had with Nico Cotto Avocado uploading these recent strings of videos. Here's parts of the video. Something he's notorious for constantly crying. So then why did I decide this video and these clips to show you? Well, as you can tell from the title of that video, he now claims to be a disabled person, which I'll get into in a minute, but I want to focus on what he said at the beginning outside of making some of the most revolting noises I've heard in quite some time while undergoing some kind of exorcism. He said, it's your fault for encouraging these videos. Now, he's, he says shit like this pretty often, and it shows me that there's still some self-awareness deep within him somewhere, locked, locked deep away. But that rational side of him, he keeps buried, locked in a cage, and still does this content, even knowing better. Even knowing that it's a complete detriment to his overall health and well-being, he continues to do it while still having that small glimmer of self-awareness. It, it, it seems to really be going downhill quickly for him. People have been saying for the last couple years that Nakato Avocado is literally killing himself for YouTube views, and it's absolutely true. He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. He's well aware that he is throwing away his health his well-being, his happiness, for the sake of some YouTube views because his audience continues to eat it up. This interaction would start a back and forth between the two with Nico Cotto Avocado uploading a video responding to Moist Critical titled My Response to Penguins, video about me, disabled mukbang. This video would be less of a serious video where Nikocado Avocado would react to Critical's video but only pointing out some minor things said and how Critical didn't tell his subscribers to not harass him in his comments. Moist Critical would respond in a video titled My Response to Nikocado Avocado. Here's parts of the video of Critical responding to Nikocado Avocado with context for his response video. In regards to his broken ribs in his response video he said I was completely lying and that his broken ribs had nothing to do with weight gain which surprised me because I actually got that information from one of his recent videos. I'll just go ahead and play the clip. And before you make fun of me, please try to put yourself in my shoes. I cracked my ribs. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck this fucking air sack from coffee excessively for over two and a half months and my obesity, all 350 pounds of force. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't reach into my butthole and pull this out of nowhere. I got the information from him, so I don't understand why in his response video he makes it sound like I'm lying about so many things. It, like, he himself said his cracked ribs were the result of coughing for the last two months and his obesity, 350 pounds of pressure or whatever he said there. I don't have the right to exist because I happen to be, because I happen to be a little overweight. I'm being a for my weight, for my appearance. Apparently, I'm encouraging people to eat Unwell? Excuse me! I don't even understand at all where that last thing came from. I never made any point like that or even hinted at anything like that. What I was saying about your audience is that they keep you doing these unhealthy things, which they absolutely are. I wasn't calling you gross. I never said any of that. I said that they are keeping you doing this unhealthy kind of content, which you've done for a few years now, which has negatively affected your health. And I'll say it again. Because that was the point of the video, and that was the point I was making. The next thing he talks about is this machine that he's had in every thumbnail for like the last two weeks. He says he's actually had this since he was a kid, and it's nothing new, unrelated to mukbangs and all that. Okay, fair enough. Let's say that's true. Maybe it is. It probably is. I don't see why he'd lie about it. But then why all of a sudden now are you putting it so prominently in every thumbnail and every title talking about being disabled and doing a disabled mukbang? Why are you just now showing this off then? It leads your viewers to believe that the situation's a lot more dire than it is and you're doing it on purpose. You're trying to garner more sympathy out of the situation by having this machine here. It makes it seem like your health is on a really rapid decline. And I think the reason you're doing that is to get more views on it because when people see that you're in distress, they want to see what's going on and want to make 
make sure everything's okay. This video would prompt Nikocado Avocado to make an official response video where he seemed extremely serious and upset. And throughout this video, he would point out many parts of Critical's video. And in this video, he would call Critical a liar for the many things that he was saying in his response video. You think you're articulate, but you're really not. And you give license for people to come to my page and me, my family, my team, my manager, my network, and I'm telling you, as of yesterday, I am sick and bothered to wake up to people wishing I was dead, because apparently I can't take care of myself and that I'm dead. And what do you do? You double down and say, well, I made videos in the past about not sending hate. Who cares? That's irrelevant. And they're not nice people. You have a lot of phobic viewers, which is fine. That's not your fault. But part of being a responsible creator is that when someone approaches you and say, hey, look, I'm in distress because of you, and you have the nerve to say, oh, well, he advertised his Patreon, so I'm, I, I just don't take any of this seriously. Nikocado Avocado would talk about how he would receive thousands of comments under his videos of people telling him to end his life, which in general is a horrible thing to say to someone. So before we even continue this video, I want to make it clear to not harass Nikocado Avocado in his comments section of his videos, and don't even go to his videos just to dislike his videos. I feel for Nikocado Avocado throughout this video because he seems visibly upset and angry at Critical. Now these strings of videos would have a lot of other YouTube commentary channels discussing the issues with Nikocado Avocados mukbang videos. And some of these content creators might have had good intentions, but others could have been piggybacking off of the views that came from Nikocado Avocado's name over the past couple of weeks. But of course, there was a reason for these criticisms. These thumbnails and titles on his second channel are clickbait and depicted someone that is bedridden. And I know that what he's wearing is a CPAP machine, but younger audiences or people that don't have too much knowledge in the health field just see something that looks like a breathing machine in the thumbnail that makes it seem like he needs that to breathe. Entitling the videos saying you have a disability when you know in your heart that you are only injured is disrespectful to the millions of people in the world that do have actual disabilities. And I think that's the blunt of the criticisms that people had, and that's one of the issues I had as well, and I also do agree with Morris Critical. I do think Nick Okado Avocado continues to put his health on the line for the pure sake of views and monetary gain, which is a destructive path. He even has a shirt that says it's your fault, blaming the viewers for his weight gain because when people tune in, he gets a large amount of money. This back and forth with Moist Critical has only given Nikocado Avocado more views and subscribers and attention for his channel. And I don't hate Nikocado Avocado. I actually found enjoyment out of some of his videos, but it is a lifestyle that if done daily for many years can lead to serious health issues that can cause him to be actually disabled and immobile. My biggest concern is Nikocado Avocado's overall health. I was at a point in my life where I was close to 300 pounds, and even then, everything on my body hurt from my joints to my back. I lost a good amount of weight, and I feel a lot better for myself knowing that I'm healthier. But obviously, this is Nikocado Avocado's job at the end of the day, and it pays the bills. And maybe he's worried that if he switches the content, he won't gain as many views. But I think it would be dope to see a transformation series that's filled with positivity and not negativity, like fighting with his husband or emotional outbursts that would help Nikocado Avocado in the long run. There's no doubt in my mind that Nikocado Avocado has a huge work ethic with four other channels, a TikTok account, a Patreon, and an OnlyFans that is a lot of time put into creating content. So we cannot put him down for his grind and his continuous work ethic to continue grinding out these videos even when he did seem like he was really hurt. But this has been the dark side of Nikocado Avocado and the events that have transpired over the past couple of weeks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, Please do not go to Nikocado Avocado's channel and throw some harassment or even dislike his videos. A lot of the times when we see these bigger content creators get a lot of hate, it makes them get off of the internet and that messes up their own bag. So I really don't want to do that to Nikocado Avocado because he's getting a lot of hate as it is so far. And I think just adding on to it is just not something that I want to do. These videos are just to talk about exactly what happened throughout their careers that got them to this point, not really to spread hate or misinformation or even to mess with people's perception of their favorite creator. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.